I truthfully believe that the universe is a very giving place. And I don't want to sound, you know, airy fairy, but I truthfully believe that the universe is a giving place and that if you actually really want something, you can have it. How much you want is how much you're prepared to sacrifice. So if you want half a million a year, you can definitely make that. And that level of stress you'll absorb for that money and the amount of uh, headache you'll go through, if that's the amount you're prepared to accept for a happy life, you'll have it. The number one factor that's going to decide how successful you are as a person is your ability to absorb stress, your stress level. The better you are at dealing with stress, the more problems you can fix, the more money you're going to make. So you have to decide where on that scale, because you can just be homeless and have no stress. You're just saying, you, can just be, you can be a brokey and be on the dole and just, you know, I'm broke, but nothing really troubles me. So you have to decide on that level where you want, how much stress you can possibly absorb as a man. And then if you truly want that level, you're going to get it. I believe any man can make anything they want, depending. Any one of you here, I'd have no idea how much money you're making, but if you were to say, you know what, I'm throwing away my relationship, I'm throwing away my social life, and I'm going ham, I'm going nuts, so, oh, I don't care what they do to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make it. You'd make a bunch of money, yeah. but there's a bunch of garbage that comes with it. So you have to decide, right? Yeah. So I think it's a conscious decision. Anybody can be as rich as they wanna be. That's, that's, that's the true thing about it. If you do not have the discipline to dedicate yourself to anything, you are going to fail and be crushed by the people who can. On your path to greatness, there are going to be long periods of time where you hate what you are doing, where you are dissatisfied with the actions you must undertake, where you are tired, where you are stressed. That is why it is difficult. That is why most people won't make it. If the path was easy, everybody would walk it and it would lead nowhere. You must believe. All of the things you want to have are going to happen. You must see through time with a plan in place so you can see it all come true to be the man you want to be. The universe is extremely giving. It will give you anything you want. All you have to do is make a plan and see it. When people ask me for motivation, it's like an anorexic person coming up to me. Convince me to eat. But what do you mean? Well, tell me all that pasta tastes like. And I feel like saying, you're fucking anorexic. You're about to die. Why don't you want to eat it? Why do I have to convince you to want it? It's right there. All you have to do is dedicate yourself and you clearly need it. Take care of yourself. Train hard. Become extremely successful. Stay off the streets. Stay out the clubs. Don't go down any of that mess. You're at the height of your energetic powers and it should all be focused in the correct direction to be glad you used it correctly when you're older pay attention to that now to get to the end you have to believe in yourself because you're going to suffer and it's going to hurt and the only way you're going to get there is if you truly believe you're going to make it so when i ask you do you believe you can escape the matrix do you know what you want do you believe could achieve your dream life and not be like all of these other idiots down below who don't want to escape, don't think they can escape, or think it's too hard, or think it's too difficult. Do you truly believe you are that guy? Because not all of you are going to make it, but the ones that do make it are going to be the ones who believe they can make it. Andrew, I lack motivation. You have 10 years left to save your bloodline and you lack motivation. All of your ancestors who fought saber-toothed tigers should have just laid down and died because they fought their best for you to be born so you can jack off the porn hub during the last few years where you stand a chance to save your last name in paternal serfdom. The last thing you should lack in the mess of the world today is motivation. You are running out of time. I see some people complaining that things are difficult. You shouldn't be complaining they're difficult. You should be glad you found something difficult to do worth doing. Most people try to do something hard, they instantly feel demotivated, but the winners of the world, when they feel something hard to do or they realize there's something that's hard to do, they're like, yes, a challenge, that's what I want. The difficulty is what makes it beautiful. And you have to hack your mind and change your instant reaction to difficulty from demotivation to happiness. Once you've done that change, you no longer operate from a frame of motivation, you operate from a frame of discipline. train because I want to get bigger. I train every day because it is difficult to train every day. It hurt. I don't want to. I wake up and I'm busy. I have other things to do. I don't feel like doing it. So I force myself to do it seven days a week, 365 days a year so that I know I'm the kind of person who can do what he doesn't want to do when it needs to be done. I am that man.
Success comes from working absolutely every single day. It's exactly the same anything in life. Doesn't matter if you want to be strong in the gym, doesn't matter if you want to be an amazing fighter and good at guitar, or if you want to be successful inside of the real world. We're only going to be successful if you turn off and you work every single day. When I was 15, my first job was carrying boxes of fish from 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. and I would run to work. So I'd leave the house at six, I'd run an hour, I'd get there at seven, I'd finish work at five and then I'd run from there to the fight gym. I'd get there early before training started, I'd eat food next to the gym and then I'd train and then I would get a ride home from my girlfriend at the time. So my entire life was 17 hours a day of just running and working and carrying boxes and fighting. If you're, if you're raised too soft, then you're not ready for the world. Like I had to face all my fears instantly all the time. That's who my father was. So now if I have a fear to face now as a man, my entire life, I've just faced them instantly. That's just who I am. That's what I do. Right. And we're all human. We all get scared. If, if five people pull knives on me and I know I can't run away and I have to fight, I'll be like, all right, shit. well, I, I can't run. So the other options fight. Am I going to sit and beg? Well, they're obviously here to hurt me. Mm. So now it's on. Like, if that's just that's just who that's just how I was raised. I would never rob my son of the opportunity of growing up to being that man. There's something that's so brilliant, so it's it's satisfying to your core. It's like an evolutionary adaptation when you feel genuine competence as a man. There's something that oozes from you. Look at James Bond. The reason James Bond is James Bond is because he's good at everything. He can yeah. drive. He can fight. He can shoot. He's got all this money. He's smart. He's suave. He's you know he's a millionaire. Whatever. That there's something that about having competence as a man that genuinely satisfies your soul. How can I go to sleep and be sad at night when I know I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet? When I know there's not a single scenario in which somebody pairs against me will be happy about the pairing. It doesn't matter what it is. If you were to go out there, I've never even, uh, let's do something random. What do white people do? White wakeboarding. I've never, white people, I've never wakeboarded in my life, right? But if you were to go out there and choose someone else who's never wakeboarded before, and they said, you're gonna have a wakeboarding competition, you're gonna wakeboard against somebody who's never wakeboarded either, but if you lose, there's gonna be serious consequences, but your, comp your competitor is Tate. Part of them's gonna go, oh, why Tate? I'm, I've never even wakeboarded. They have no reason to fear me besides the fact that it's my last name and they know that I am indefatigable and perspicacious and that I am a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. I have absolutely not a competence that runs through my veins. I do not fail and the world knows that. How can I be unhappy in this scenario? How can I be unhappy as this person, as this avatar to attack the simulation? Mm -hmm. My father built me to be this man. I would be a terrible father to rob my son of that opportunity, which means if his ass to go fight orcs, imaginary orcs in a darkened room at the age of two and a half, <laughs> then guess motherfucking what? That's what you're going to do because I'd be a parent to raise him any other way. Everyone's heard work smart, not hard, right? That's bullshit. It's a lie. That's a lie. Because in the hyper competitive environment, you need someone who works smart and hard. Don't be an idiot. You want to work as smart as possible, but you should still work as hard as possible on top. If you're competing against the entire world, you want to work as as intelligently as you can so your time is efficiently used, but then you want to use all of your times so that you win. So there's no such thing as working smart and not working hard. You have to do both all of the time if you want to win. Five years of hard work, five years it'll take for a lifetime of respect from your peers, for a lifetime of living true in your heart and true to God because you know you're acting with honor, for a lifetime of love letters from women. You're not born this way. We weren't born this way. We were just braver than you. We worked harder than you. Any of you can become this high value. There is a secret to the universe that most don't know. If you actually try your best, you can't lose. Not pretend to try your best. Not try your best 90% of the time. Not try your best with excuses. If you genuinely try your best all of the time, all day, every day, it's impossible to lose. It's if you actually try your best, it is impossible to fail in this life. God is watching and he rewards those who want it the most. If you want it the most, you can have it. It's a competition. Every dollar you want, the house you want, the car you want, other people want. You have to win. You have to want it the most and genuinely do your best because most people aren't capable of doing their best, Mina. To get up every day, whether they feel like it or not, and perform regardless. That is the secret. You cannot fail if you try your best. 
So if you don't have the car you want, the woman you want, the relationship you want, the friends you want, the house you want, you haven't been trying your best because I guarantee you the second you do, you'll have all of it, all of that. I've never seen somebody who is determined in their heart to get something, not get it. I've never seen someone wake up and say, nah, this is all I care about. This is all I want, not get it. Everyone who thought that way in fighting was a world champion. Most people, 80% of people who aren't rich are arrogant. 80% of people, when you try and tell them what to do, they don't want to listen. When you say, here's a Ferrari, here's the map, the gold's at the end, you know I'm not lying because I have lots of gold and I have lots of Ferraris and I'm rich and you listen to me because you know who I am. So here, go. Yeah, I don't like that route. <laughs> the color is off, you know. I, this, I don't want a red Ferrari. Yeah. You're a Nobody! <laughs> Drive! No, oh, I don't want a red Ferrari. I've always wanted a yellow one. And why are you taking the I-95? Don't like that road. Nah, nah, not for me. I'll work it out myself. And they walk off <laughs> into the forest. <laughs> it's true. And they stay poor forever. And you I'm standing there with my gold, my map, and my Rari. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? And they're like, and the arrogance people have. You're like, I can teach you how to make money online. Well, why should I believe you? Because I'm world renowned for making money online. If you're a man and you love the people around you, you better get as strong and rich and competent as possible to show it. If you don't have the motivation to do that, then you don't love yourself or anyone else. If you're a weak, useless man, how can you even show love? You need to show it through competence, which means I need to get up and train. I need to get up and work. I need to make a bunch more money, more connections, more important friends, more houses, more everything. Andrew, are there ever days where you don't feel like working out or you don't feel like doing work? Every working day, I don't feel like doing things that I still do. It's called discipline. It's called being a man. It's not about feeling like doing it. If you only do things you feel like doing, you know what you end up doing? What? You end up sitting around with a belly, drinking soya fuzz and latte bullshit. That's what you end up doing if you only do what you feel like doing. You have to wake up and say, I don't feel like training, but I must train. I will only drink water. You need to do what you're supposed to do, not what you feel like feeding doing. Okay. That's the difference between a man and a fainting child. You do not become a man doing what you feel like doing. You become a man doing what you're supposed to can do. You know, I haven't had a rest day from the gym in years. Every day I train, every day. People talk about how your muscles don't grow unless you're resting, I don't care. I go every day because I go to teach myself a lesson and I don't want to go and it's boring and I'm busy and every single day I still go so I learn about discipline and pain and suffering even at my old age with my long difficult life I'm still going to the gym every day to punish myself and show God that I am motivated and disciplined and no matter what happens I will not miss a SEMA gym session ever a thousand push-ups a day in jail and you wonder why I have everything I've ever wanted